It was a meeting that brought together anti-FGM stakeholders, chiefs and their assistants from Kajado County, where Public Service, Youth and Gender Cabinet Secretary Margaret Kobia will direct administration officers to map all homes with female children and safeguard them against retrogressive cultural practices. Because it's also a criminal offence, if, if it happens in a certain location, the assistant chief should be able to, to know it's going to happen or it has happened. And if it happens and they don't know, then they also missed the full force of the law of not preventing it. So I think those, those are the initiatives which makes now the fight against FGM more intense than it has been before. Kobia saying that every chief will be required to give a report of all girls in their area of jurisdiction within six months for evaluation. This even, as she said, the government has already developed a work plan to eradicate FGM in 22 hotspots counties. In the next three years, in line with the national policy framework on FGM that was announced by President Uhuru Kenyatta recently. Most of the, the women rep that we work with, they, we have been involved with them in the policy. It was a very uh, interactive, engaging policy. So we are sure the women rep and the members of parliament, women, they are with us in this war against FGM. FGM Board Chief Officer Benedito Loju said cross-border FGM has been rampant in Kajado, where girls cross to Tanzania to undergo the cut amid revelations that four chiefs who have been interdicted over the last one week for abating the vice. Tumeanza kuongea na wenzetu wa Tanzania. Ninja bungumu kwa sababu hata mahali wanaenda waendi mahali wanaonekana wanapatikana na serikali. Lakini tunaongea na anti-administration ya Tanzania. Mahali wamesikia mkenya mmeperekwa kufanywa kazi kama hiyo washike waturundishie upande wote wa adhibu Beatrice Gatonyengetich Channel 1 News